back to my channel. Today's video is much overdue. It is going to be Quinn's nine month update. The last update I did was, I think four months. She is now nine months old. I know, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> anyways, life with five has definitely proven hard. When I had my boys, I had them all so close together that I feel like we were all sort of in the same stage at the same time, so it was easier. Like we were in the infant phase all together. We were in the toddler phase together. And with Quinn, when Quinn was born it was last April, so I had a seven-year-old, a six-year-old, and four, two four-year-olds. So I feel like my kids were more independent. They were basically potty trained. And then she came along and she definitely kind of like brought us back into the infant stage. So we've kind of found that having, going from maybe not necessarily the number of kids from four to five was harder, but I think the, the stages, the ages and the stages that the kids were in um, when Quinn arrived definitely made the transition from four to five the hardest in my opinion. I can tell you having a newborn when you have four-year-olds, it's very hard because the four-year-olds are, especially since I have twin four-year-olds and then I have two other ones in addition, it's just a lot and it's just constant. I do feel like having all the kids and then Quinn, it definitely slowed life down again. And I mean, between that, COVID, remote learning, it's all been just sort of a learning a learning curve for everybody. With that being said, it has been nearly impossible to sit down and film. Um, as it is right now, my poor husband has all five of them downstairs. He's trying to make dinner. Luckily, homework was done, so that was one thing that I didn't feel so bad about, but here we are. So I'm going to try and be more consistent with filming. I think for now, I'm gonna try and do like a video a week. But anyways, all right, so Quinn's nine month update. Let's just jump right into it. If you see me looking down here, it's because I have my laptop down here just to kind of keep me on track and so that I remember everything I wanna say. She has not had her nine month doctor's appointment yet. The last appointment she had was six months so she is having that sometime this month so I'm not 100% on her measurements but I know I, I weighed her and she's roughly like 17 uh, 17.6 pounds and that was a couple of days ago so I say when I probably go to the doctor she's gonna be around 17 17 and a half to anywhere between 17 and a half and 18 pounds um, so I think that she's pretty average in terms of her weight now, which is great because she was a little peanut at her four month appointment. Um, she was in like the third percentile and obviously at that time she was like just exclusively breastfed. She is still breastfed, but now of course being nine months old, she's eating solids. Um, we're doing baby led weaning with her and she eats like a beast. She currently has one tooth. It's like down here. I think it's that tooth right in the front um, and I can tell that her front teeth are trying to come down as well like you can tell the gums are thinning out you can't see that the front teeth have broken through yet but they're definitely coming so yeah we're dealing with some teething right now she is babbling for sure she says da, 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 yeah dada da, da. <laughs> da, da. I'm trying to get her to say mama she won't say mama but I'm pretty sure when she says dada she's talking about me so she does say dada I've heard her we have like the love every kits um, which if you don't have those they have like a subscription you pay $80 every two months and they send you like age-appropriate toys they're amazing they're super good quality and I've come to realize after having five kids it's perfect because it reduces like tons of clutter and it's just it's like exactly what they need for the age and the stage that they're in and you don't even have to think about it because you get a delivery this isn't sponsored by the way it's just I think that the toys are really worth it and they're like I said developmentally appropriate and they're awesome um but anyways she where was I going with that oh so the last Love Every Kit came with some note cards or just like pictures of like car, truck. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, there's a little mirror on it. She loves that one so she can see herself. Um, and there's one that has a dog on it. And some of the pictures have like little sensory texture things. And the one that has dog, she constantly goes to. And we have two dogs. So she, we're constantly saying dog. So she's go, she goes, da, da. Like I can tell that she's saying dog. So, so far she can say da, da dog 
We are doing a little bit of sign language and the Love Every uh, kit from last month, or I should say the last two months, did include uh, baby sign language books. So she's been saying, we've been trying to get her to say like, thank you, all done. There's a bunch of different signs and of course I'm like sitting here going, duh. <laughs> um, but we're, we are trying to basically teach her how to sign. She hasn't really done much. She can wave. She is sitting up, awesome, unsupported. Her core strength is fantastic. What'd you put on the TV? She can crawl, she's not like fully crawling yet, like on her knees and her, her arms, but she's like army crawling and scooting around. Um, she can get on her hands and knees and she like rocks back and forth, but she's still not ready to like fully crawl yet, but she's close. I can tell she's like a week or two away. She hasn't like pulled herself up on her own yet, but I can tell that that's also right around the corner. I will like, I'll hold her and I'll like let her grab something and she'll like kind of just stabilize herself. So the walking is soon. Her hand-eye coordination is incredible. Um, she can like move things f back and forth. She flips things over and just looks it over. Like every baby, she's obsessed with phones, remotes, um, car keys, like anything that she probably shouldn't have, she loves. <laughs> what baby doesn't though, right? I already talked about eating. She does breastfeed about four to five times a day and she will also do solids. She is an incredible eater. She eats pretty much everything at this point. Obviously we don't give her like, we don't give her milk yet, that's a year old, but we are giving her cheese. Um, just like a little bit of like shredded cheese she loves with, typically I'll do like chicken, avocado, almost like a little Mexican bowl, like a chipotle bowl. She's actually done pretty much that. She's done rice, she's done chicken, she's done avocado, black beans, shredded cheese, and she loves it. <laughs> The only food that she really seems to not enjoy is bananas of all things, which is so bizarre. Like she likes black beans over bananas, which I was like, who are you? Um, so she's doing great with that. She, it's so funny when she's eating goldfish, she'll like, she has that one tooth and you can hear her crunching <laughs> goldfish with the one tooth. She's like. <laughs> you chewing with that little tooth. <laughs> so she does that. In terms of sleep, she is still in the snoo and I can do, I probably will and I, I feel like I've said this before and I don't know if I ever got around to like posting or even getting a video up where I've mentioned this, but we did buy the snoo. We have used the snoo since she was born and I am in love with the snoo. Like I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on it and obviously every baby is different, but my daughter has loved the snoo. So if you're unfamiliar with the snoo, it's basically like a smart bassinet. They typically say that babies will outgrow the snoo by six months. Um, Quinn is like on the average to smaller side and she is, like I said, nine months. She's officially in the largest sleep sack size. They have small, medium, and large. And she has just recently transitioned into the large size. 
I'm gonna do a whole separate video, so I'm gonna stop talking about that. But anyways, she is still in her snoo. It, I love it. I am dreading the day that I really fully have to transition her to the crib because I can tell it's not gonna be pretty and I'm used to getting sleep. She lately has been waking up probably like one, occasionally two times a night to nurse just because I think her teeth are bothering her. But otherwise, like she'll fuss, but then the snoo will put her back to sleep and she'll sleep anywhere from 8.30 p.m. to about six in the morning or 8.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. So the snoo has been wonderful pretty much since six weeks on. She's been sleeping through the night and I'm just dreading the day that we do have to transition her. So she typically will nap one time a day. I usually will put her down around 10 in the morning and she sleeps for like one to one and a half to two hours typically. Occasionally I've had a few times where she's napped like three hours and I got nervous and had to check on her. But yeah, that's it in terms of napping. I talked about her tooth. I don't know how long she is right now. Like I said, I don't have her stats because she hasn't had her nine month doctor's appointment. She is in size two diapers and she is in six to nine month clothing for the most part. She does still fit in a lot of six month stuff, but anything that has like sleepers that have feet, I've noticed that the six month is getting a little bit short, like a little, like if she sits, you can tell that like her toes are kind of poking the, the feet inside. So I'd say that she is six to nine months officially. And I just went back to my four month update and I can't believe how tiny she was because I feel like she's a little moose now. <laughs> it's just, it's insane how quickly they grow. Like it's very bittersweet. Another thing that I didn't do in the last update, or at least I don't think I did, I'm gonna do a quick body shot just to show you guys where I am nine months postpartum. I feel like I still have a lot of work to do. COVID's kind of messed with my mental state and like exercising hasn't been the same. I do have an elliptical and a treadmill downstairs in my basement. And I have been going on them, just not lately. I'm just trying to kind of get back into my like eating habits. I'm trying to get my diet down first because that's like 70% of the game and then exercise is just good in addition. So I'm trying to work on my diet first and then I will fit exercise in where I can. As it is now, I'm lucky I can go to the bathroom. So, <laughs> um, so this is my body nine months postpartum, pretty much almost back to my pre-pregnancy weight. So yeah, work to be done though. My body's definitely different. So let me just show you what my body looks like nine months postpartum. So this is from the front, but this is my wonderful pooch that still looks pregnant, <laughs> but it has carried five kids, so not too bad. From the back. And then this is what my belly looks like. And it kind of looks like I have some definition, but pretty much I think it's just because this part of my stomach is so pushed out. <laughs> but yeah, if I could, you know, just get rid of that, we'd be, we'd be good. So yeah, that is my body at nine months postpartum. I am following WW. I actually have a what I eat in a day post or two posts soon. I'm working on editing that one. And I'm thinking that this channel is probably gonna end up going more towards like just general mommy stuff. Um, I will show you like what I eat in a day is trying to continue my my journey on Weight Watchers as a lifetime member. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know any videos that you'd like me to film, if you have any questions, anything like that, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope everybody's staying happy, everybody's staying healthy, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.